Greetings. Welcome to stream this week, Yoram Gross. You could see uh, this is all too fast. <laughs> I'll go back real quick, but this is uh, Flipper and Lopaka. Game for the Game Boy Color, published by Ubisoft. Yoram Gross is the production company for the TV show this is based on, um, an Australian company also known for uh, Blinky Bill, which is the character you saw in that logo back there. Now, the reason I'm playing this is because uh, the game was developed by the same people who ported Mr. Nuts Game Boy to the Game Boy Color. So this is actually, oh wait, I forgot to check, is this their first game that they actually made from scratch? Anyway, I've just noticed this, this is really fascinating, the Ubi key is a thing that Ubisoft put in, I guess, all of their Game Boy Color games, um, because it's, it's in Tonic Trouble and it's in Rayman 2, and I think Rayman 1 as well maybe? It was a thing where if you find a special Ubi key collectible in the game, you could then use the Game Boy Color's infrared port to communicate to another um, another one of these Ubisoft games and, I don't know, trade, a, trade the key to them and get extra, like an extra level or something. It depends on the game what you get, but um, yeah, that's really interesting. Um, unfortunately, we, we, can't, we won't be able to use that feature, which sucks. It, I mean, that locks us out of things in uh, Rayman games as well, so it's kind of annoying, but anyway. Surge, Dexter's servile right-hand man. It's lucky today. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> he has just discovered the secret of the sacred crystals in an old book of magic. Gosh, plot. Uh, and their power, which could destroy the city of Quetzo. Golly. Surge tells Dexter, who is always on the lookout, for a dirty trick to play of his discovery. Fortunately, Flipper overhears them preparing their terrible plan to destroy the city of Quetzo. As soon as this is over, I'll, I'll, I'll explain more about the premise here. Um, Flipper asks the advice of Calabash, the sage, who tells him the secret. Ah, oh, good stuff. Flipper asks his friend Lopaka to help him to find the sacred crystals before Dexter. I wonder if this is based on the plot of one of the episodes or not. There are 78 of them. Beach of Iloka. Whoa. Wow, look at that skinny little kid. I actually dig this. The animation's not bad. He's got a few frames there. Oops, don't jump on the turtles. Okay, so this is a bit like Mr. Nuts. I have an ammunition of shells that I can throw. Uh, a limit. Okay. That's a vine I can climb. Whoa! It's quite vertically oriented. Um, yeah, this reminds me of the Rayman game for Game Boy Color that I was talking about earlier, which one of the things I like about it is you have these really small character sprites, but they manage to look really cute and nice. Oop. Okay, so that pickup gave me five shells to throw. Can't quite make that jump there. Oh, I fell through. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Flipper and Lupaka is um, an animated series. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, now we have pearls. It's a different kind of collectible. Ah. Oh, okay, I have another hit after I lose those three hearts, I guess. Oops. This is tough. I have a point score, a life total, just down to one. 
Alright, so Flipper and Lepaka. Flipper, obviously... Uh, you should know about Flipper, I guess. Um, it was sort of a series of movies and then some spin-off TV shows as well about a dolphin. It was in the kind of Lassie vein and also Skippy, if you're Australian, you would know that. Um, where, like, an animal friend helps some kids to, I don't know, solve mysteries or fix things that go wrong. So Flipper was one with the dolphin, so I imagine all the scenarios are really contrived to have to do with uh, oceanic issues. I like a game where you can grab a ledge and pull yourself up. That's nice. Oop. Yep. Nasty. So I guess over the years there's been a few different Flipper shows. This is just the latest of them. Um, they probably haven't done anything with the property in a while. Oh, there was um, an Elijah Wood movie maybe in the 90s. I should, have, I should have looked that up. But there was so much Flipper stuff that I kind of, my eyes started rolling around in my head. Um, but yeah, this one was between 1999 and 2005. That was an animated series with uh, three seasons by Yoram Gross's production studio. He's a... He's a, well, okay, Joram Gross, he's an interesting guy. Um, he's a Polish Jew who fled the Nazis and uh, eventually ended up in Australia making cartoon shows. Um, and most Australians would know uh, Blinky Bill, which, like it was a series of books, but I think possibly the show was even more popular, so that character's, uh, character design might be more well known. Um, but yeah, I guess he got hold of the Flipper license somehow, and he made this show. Um, Blinky Bill... Oh, even you watched that! In the US! That's great! Wait... Gibbon says Tony's getting a message that he has to be a subscriber to watch. That can't be right. I... I... <laughs> yeah, you can't even subscribe to me. Let me check my um, options or whatever. Um, gosh, there's so many tabs and stuff here. Yeah, since Twitch changed their interface. Um, no, that's for managing my subscriptions. Channel. No, that's not it. Oh, I like that pause screen. That's cute. Um, nope, that's the wrong thing. Settings. Oh, jeez. And he can't post in chat either. I mean, the only thing I can think of is that Twitch changed something and the default is weird now. I, I didn't, certainly haven't changed anything. Just tell him to, like, refresh the page. Hey, Tito, how's it going? Um, I see you managed to get on, no problem. Um... Nope, that's not it. Something's wrong. Um, yeah, can you tell him to like refresh something? I see some messages in Discord. I don't know. Maybe you banned him, Gibbon. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't even know how you would stop people from posting. Um, there's a checkbox here. Oh, that's for activity feed. Yeah, never mind. Um, auto modding? No. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll see. I'll just keep playing and hopefully he sorts it out. I, I can't see anything to change that. Oh no! No! No no no! No! Oh no! Oh, I saved all the way back here. I pressed the wrong button when I started it again and it, it just quit me out. Damn. Oh well. I don't know what the pedals do. I don't have a manual for this game, so... 
Actually, I didn't even bother to check. That's quite unlike me. Oh well. Anyway, we were talking about Blinky Bill. Um, Gibbon says that they actually got Blinky Bill over there, which is incredible to me. But that's cool. This, um, the, the Flipper and Lopaka show came well after Blinky Bill. As I said, it was, uh, it only started in 99. Anyway, the premise of the show is that uh, Lopaka is... Mm, so he's like a Polynesian boy in a tribe who lives in the traditional manner. But even in the first episode, you see that they are living in the modern world. Um, because there's a fishing trawler that they want us to, to get out of their waters, um, their territorial waters. Um, so the the way that the tribe of people on this island is described, they call themselves the Mile, the Milehune, and that's what the other sea creatures call them too. Um, that word is a lot like, aha, health. It's a lot like the um, Hawaiian word menehune. Um, so I wonder if it's trying to communicate the same concept. Um, yeah, there's something wrong with Tony. I don't know. Get him to log out and log back in? I don't know. Jeez, that sucks. Um, so the menehune are uh, sort of a Hawaiian folklore race of like uh, the closest thing I could think of is like gnome-like creatures because there are stories of them coming in the night and building things and doing work around the place and then the people the humans wake up and things were done in the night and they're like ooh how'd that happen so they're like elves um and supposedly in, in this mythology, uh, the Menahune were the original founders or the original inhabitants of Hawaii before uh, Polynesians sort of emigra em emigrated there. Um, now, the, Menahune, the existence of the Menahune is not substantiated. In fact, they don't really exist, but I wonder whether the intention of the show is that this is sort of a lost tribe of these mystical uh, creatures. They're pretty much just humans though, that's the thing. Um, at first I thought that Lopaka was special or different because he could uh, live underwater and communicate with animals. But the first episode establishes that um, his ability to do that is purely... Uh, it, it's an inherited ability. Um, he was apparently... Oh, what's that? A flipper icon. Did that give me an extra life? Yeah, I think it did. Interesting. Um, yeah, so Lopaka can um, survive underwater for extended periods. He does have to go up for air um, eventually, but like a dolphin, he's able to, I guess, hold it for a, a long time. Um, and he can also talk to sea creatures. But the first episode establishes that Apparently all humans used to be able to do this until they decided to leave the ocean and then they forgot how to do those things. Um, but Flipper has made friends with this boy and taught him the ocean secrets. So he is as humans used to be. Have I been here before? Am I going in circles? What am I looking for? <laughs> this is um, unusual. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, apparently this is within Flipper's power to impart these abilities onto humans. Uh, and as a result, Lopaka can communicate with all the fish and other sea creatures. So we've already seen in the opening crawl... Um... <laughs> Apes playing Puyo Puyo Tetris with Adam, that's okay. Uh, I accept that. Um, yeah, we saw in the opening crawl Surge, the evil uh, sea snake, who is a minion of uh, what's it called? Dexter, the evil octopus. 
I watched the first episode of this show before starting the stream, by the way, so it's all fresh in my mind. Um, Dexter is like the villain of the series. He's always trying to... Uh, he has an enmity with Flipper for uh, unclear reasons. Basically, he's a bad guy and Flipper's the good guy. He's trying to stop his plans. So, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I've been up here before. Yeah, there were pearls here before, and I've got them now. So, let's go this way. I'll go through the door. Oh, no, no, no. I'll get above that door and see what I can find. There was, some, there was a landmass above there. Um, yeah, so there's, the, so there's the setting is the island of, uh, I guess it's called Iloka, um, where these Milihune live, as they say in the show. And there's modern people who sometimes intrude on them. Um, there are some extra regulars that get introduced in seasons two and three that are from the modern world, the outside world. Um, uh huh. Wait. Oh, so I think this whole thing is just one big map, and I'm coming out in different parts of it by going in different doors. Okay. So where am I trying to end up exactly? So I came out of there. Have I been in this door? Oh, I'm getting lost. It's crazy. But I'm getting lots of pearls. Um, yeah, so we've got the island, and basically nobody believes that uh, Lopaka is friends with Flipper or whatever. Like, he tries to tell them, oh, I stopped the fishing boat, and they're like, yeah, right, it was the chief. Um, but there's a suggestion on the Wikipedia page, I think I saw it, that said that Lopaka's, like, not allowed to tell about um, his abilities that he's learned, or else he'll lose them. Um, maybe that comes in later, I don't know. But there was also a suggestion by Flipper that he doesn't want basically humans at large to find, about, find out about um, their home because then humans will come and, I don't know, want to eat all the fish and investigate their home. and. By their home, I mean the place where Flipper and all these other sea creatures live. It's a big sunken city, it's kind of like an Atlant Atlantis thing. Uh, I think they mentioned in the intro it was called... Oh wait, I've forgotten what it was called. Um, what was it called? It started with O or E or something? It was like Earth... <laughs> oh, Tony's here. Oh, Justine's here. Oh, she's having the same problem Tony had. Um, Gibbon, um, how did Tony fix his problem? <laughs> because Danger Mouse is having the same problem. Uh, using a different browser. Oh gosh, that sucks. Magic Up Jump. Yeah, I can't stream that because I don't know how to stream from my phone, but it's a pretty good game. It's kind of mindless but cute. Um, yes. Tell me more about that Donald Duck comic, because I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, yes, Tony just tried different browsers until it worked. That's really annoying. I'm sorry that it's doing that for you folk. Um, it's not supposed to do that. <laughs> what platform are you on, Danger Mouse? Oh wait, she won't even be here, be able to hear. Hang on, I'll message her on my other thing. Ugh. Man, I didn't expect technical difficulties. How are you trying to watch? Ugh. Anyway, let's keep going. On phone, too much moving around. Oh, okay, she is able to see chat, but I guess she can't hear me. Um, suggest to her that she uses the app. Quit? No? Don't quit. No? Okay. <sighs> Gosh. Um, 
Hmm. Oh, she is using that. That's crazy. Something's really wrong here. Maybe I should stop the stream and start it again? I don't know. See, this is back at the house again. I'm, I'm just going in circles. I don't know what I'm doing or what I'm supposed to do. And I'm out of health. I need a VG Maps resource to have a look around. Yeah, Gibbons assuming that Twitch made some backend update that screwed everything up again. They do this often, he says. Oh, I've lost all my collectibles now from losing a life. Alright, it's got to be something to do with these whirlwinds, right? Mm. You know, I'm really playing this game for the water levels where you play as Flipper, but... Uh, if I can't even get to them, it won't be much of a stream. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. All right, yeah, so when I was looking up about Menehune, um, I saw that they were also used in a Carl Barks Uncle Scrooge comic, so Tony's a big fan of the Disney Ducks. So I asked him if he knew about it, and of course he does. Um, whoop, whoop, whoop. <clears throat> so it turns out that Carl Barks' wife is uh, Hawaiian, and she knew about these uh, legends of the gnome-like creatures that I was talking about earlier. Um, either she's Hawaiian or they were just in Hawaii, I, I don't remember. Anyway, um, based on that, he, he wanted to incorporate that in a doc comic. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's really unfortunate. Um, but you can't watch right now. And you can't hear me. Okay, I'm just loading back to an early estate. I, Cause I, I just, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna have to look at a walkthrough soon. Uh, yeah, so this duck comic, apparently Tony's saying that Scrooge pays pennies to Donald and the nephews and they're happy to work for that little money. Um, to help him on another adventure, which I believe is a pretty common setup for those kind of adventures where Scrooge is involved. Um, okay. But yeah, they go to an island. You read the GOX review? Nope. So they end up on an island, the docks, um, with crazy island spirits, and it's. A bizarre and not exactly the best fast story, says Tony. So, I don't know, maybe don't bother with that, but if you want to find out about, the, find out more about the mythology of Hawaii, maybe check it out. Plenty of shells. I'm not running short on shells, that's for sure. Okay, I'm going to go up here and all the way to the left to see where that takes me. Because there was a whirlwind over there, and I think I might have missed it before. Full health, I like that. This game looks pretty good, don't you think? There was a whirlwind. Why is it not coming? There it is. It didn't spawn because I wasn't close enough to it, maybe? might be where I need to go. Possibly.
Whoops. Okay, so I hope I've explained the mythology of the show well enough. Um, there are three characters that we might meet later. Well, there's two sets of three. There's Flipper's friends and then there's a gang of stupid sharks. <gasps> a gem! It's the crystal that they mentioned. Hey! That's what I need to do. So I thought those doors were taking me to different rooms, but I don't know what they were even there for. They were just confusing me. I just had to go up and up and over to the left. Your turn now, Flipper. Put the crystal in its place. Aha, so now control switch is over. This is a game with two, um, you know, two playable characters. So now we're playing as Flipper. And I saw some brief footage of this and was reminded, obviously, of Echo the Dolphin. And come on, what do you think? This is totally Echo the Dolphin. Okay, so I have a button for swimming and a button for boosting like this, like a, that might act as a ramming attack if it's anything like Echo, which it seems to be. Uh, there's, if those bubbles are an air source, that's pretty good. No, they're not. Okay, so I need to surface for air. Yes. Yeah. Um, what can I say? This is very Echo. Right, so I'm carrying the crystal. Let's see, how is it going? Yes, Tony says it is a fun story, but there's just no tension in it. Yes, GameFAQs has level select codes, but no walkthroughs. Um, yeah, this is so Echo, which, you know, is no bad thing. Um, I also saw while I was looking into, I mean, I've talked about this before, but I got interested in underwater type games. Ah, yes, there's an air source, but it goes away once you get it. Shark. It's one of the dumb sharks, I think. Yeah, so looking at Echo Likes, Echo Coins, um, there was a Little Mermaid game. The one on the NES and Game Boy by Capcom is more of like a standard platformer, but there was also one for, oh, my air, totally gone, didn't notice. That only gave me one bar. Man, that's unforgiving. Ow, ow, ow. No. Ah. Oh, great. I wasn't paying attention and I lose S so quickly. Now my health is running out. Ah. Ah. <laughs> we gotta load. Yeah. We gotta stay near the surface a bit more. Uh, one thing I want to do real quick is just reset. Because um, I don't remember the name of the place, and I know it's set up here. Um, Quetzo. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so GOX is ba basically the Heil Russell of Duck fandom. He did a whole thing where he watched every episode of DuckTales and he hated it. <laughs> He's reviewed hundreds of weird duck comics. That is interesting. I should read that review. Um, yes, given mentions Aquaria as an echo like. That was the first one I noticed. Um, I played that uh, a long time ago. It was in the first Humble Bundle, and that's when I played it. Um, long before I'd played Echo. But now that I have played Echo, I know I've I recognize what its influence uh, where its influence came from. Um, did I finish talking about The Little Mermaid? There was a Little Mermaid game on Mega Drive and Game Gear that was an Echo clone. And I might play that on stream one day. Um, I just watched The Little Mermaid movie, actually. Mm, yeah, I was having a bad day and it kind of helped. So, yeah, Little Mermaid, I, I, I want to try that out too. So, oh man, this is so Echo, and it's making me feel good. <laughs> it's a, hmm. It plays smoother than the 8-bit Echo games on Game Gear and Master System. But it's not quite a Mega Drive Echo game. Yeah. 
So anyway, those sharks, um, there's a trio of sharks that like are really stupid and have those stupid dumb, dumb, dumb voices. Um, and they're minions of, uh, what's his face, Dexter. Um, and there's also three of Flipper's friends, an otter named Otty, a ray named Ray, like a manta ray, um, and a puffer fish called Puffy, I think was her name. Ooh, a thing. I gotta put the thing in the thing. Yes. So we'll see if any of them show up later. Yeah. I am listening out for if the music sounds similar to the music in the show, but I actually have forgotten what all the songs in the show sounded like already. Um, uh, the interesting note about the music in the show, it was done by the son of Yoram Gross, the, uh, you know, the producer. His name was Guy Gross, and he's probably best known for composing the score for uh, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, the classic um, LGBT Australian movie about two drag queens and a um, trans woman crossing the Australian outback in a big bus. Um, so there's my uh, link to Pride Month, <laughs> is that the music for the TV show was done by the same guy who did Priscilla. <laughs> Given having kind words for Priscilla. Um, yep, you put the crystal in the thing. Oh. Tony having nasty things to say about the Little Mermaid ride at Disney, whatever which one it is. It had five budget cuts and the only good part is the Ursula animatronic. Yes, I will read that review. Link it to me later and I'll check it out. Check everyone else, check out GOX's uh, review of the Menehune mystery in the Uncle Scrooge comics. Uh, more doors, I guess I'll go in. Okay, so now I appear to be high up. There's got to be a limit to my health, right? Yeah, the only other game I ever found that was like enough to echo in the ways that I was thinking about it um, was Ikachan, and that's most definitely not an echo clone but it is fun and interesting and about sea creatures. Oh, can't quite make that, I don't think. Mm. All right, see you later, Tito. Thanks for showing up. Yeah, Priscilla's classic movie. Everyone knows about it. Um, got Hugo Weaving, Guy Pearce, and Terence Stamp. I read on Wikipedia that since it was made with like the assistance of, I don't know, the Australian Film Council or something. Um, I think it was a government grant or something. Um, because of that, they sort of were obligated to have all Australian actors, but they were allowed to have one non-Australian actor. So, you know, they tried a few people and they got Terence Stamp, who is playing a trans woman in the film. So they're the three leads. Did I say them? Guy Pierce, Hugo Weaving, Terence Dan. I was by habit jumping up the vine instead of climbing up. That was a cute sprite. But I'm not sure if it's actually faster. Mm, now I've been here and I came down from up there before. You know, I don't know if Tito is named for the Nutshack, but uh, I would assume not. I have to ask him one day. Yeah, it's probably faster to jump across this thing there. Oh, 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 what? 
too far. No! <laughs> I wonder what I'm looking for in this level. <laughs> oh no! Can't make it back up there. Damn. Okay, have I left any trains of thought unfinished? Thinking, thinking. I did want to say one more thing about the show. I've got some notes here actually. Because um, I was looking up who did the voices, and well, even in the credits, there's only three people listed. So there's like at least a dozen characters, and um, all of their voices are done by just three people uh, Robin Moore, Jamie Oxenbold, and Keith Scott. So I guess they're multi talented. Um, although I must say that. A lot of the voices do sound kind of similar in the show, so... Um, yeah, could have used a few more actors, I think. Okay, I just bounced off that mosquito. That's cool. Um, Gotta land on one of these islands around here. Oh, I can't. Okay, yeah. Uh, Alright, a door. Shall I go in? Let's go in. Okay. Okay. This looks just like. Uh, what about down here? Ah! Snake. It's got surge. Possibly. Whoop, whoop, whoop! Okay, I'm here. Alright, that's fine. No, it's not fine. Yes. Mm. I'm getting way too many shells, more than I need. I think I've been here before. But I can't make that jump. <laughs> Apparently that was a car box comic where Donald Duck built a nuclear bomb. Tony thinks that's the weirdest one. Is there a vine up there? No. Mm -hmm. Nah. Lost in the jungle. I want to get back to the echo stages, damn it. <sighs> well, well, well. Um, what other notes do I make? Oh, yes. So, I did watch the first episode of the series. It's called The Lost City because it introduces the concept of Quetzo. So, the plot is that Dexter finds out that Flipper, he wants to, like, take over Quetzo somehow and rule it, even though it doesn't appear to have a ruler. I think you find out later that Flipper's parents are the rulers. Um, anyway, he wants to put Flipper on trial in this kangaroo court. Um, for consorting with humans who are the natural enemies of uh, ocean kind. But then there's a fishing boat that captures all the fish in the area and Flipper and Lupaka set them free so then everyone trusts them. And everyone then considers Lupaka a friend of the fishes. And meanwhile you meet some villagers from the island who are trying to stop the fishing boat in their own way. The chase. What is that? I guess that's Dexter. Oop. This is different. I 
see you. I see you. Ow. This is exciting. It's fast paced. There were fast paced echo levels, but there were also often lots of obstacles that got in your way. So you couldn't always maintain a good speed. You'd be constantly beset. Whee! Can I do a flip? No flips. Um, yeah, so I watched the first episode on a YouTube channel called Kids TV English. It was unfortunately geo-blocked. They appear to have all 78 episodes of the show. Um, but yeah, I had to use a like VPN tunneling thing to pretend I was American in order to even watch it. So I guess that might be a problem for like you guys. But um, I found that incredibly annoying. There's another YouTube channel called Australian Nostalgia Channel that had three episodes. They appeared to be seven, eight, and nine, but they also had Dutch subtitles for some reason. <laughs> um, and I wanted to watch episode one anyway, so I got around the geo blocking and watched it at, what was it, Kids TV English. Um, I don't know why it's geo blocked, it's ridiculous. Um, when it's, they probably don't have permission to have it on YouTube in the first place. Uh, I mean, the show's not that old, it's, it might be on Netflix, there might even be a DVD of it available, I don't really know. Yeah, one thing I wanted to mention about the actors, actually, what's up? Yeah, butt hop up the slope. <laughs> okay. So, Donald is apparently a scientific genius and makes this bomb, but then a scientist comes by to congratulate him and steals the scientist's assistant. Oh no, the assistant is a Russian spy who steals it and detonates it on Duckburg. But then it's revealed that Donald's bomb only actually just gets rid of facial hair, so nobody is harmed, stupid Donald. Yeah, I've completely lost Dexter, so I'm gonna load back to whatever I was at before. Hopefully this state is in a better shape. Hmm, maybe he goes in a loop. I hope that's the case. Let's go backwards through the loop. Ow, starfish. What's this? Nah, I thought it was a shortcut. Oh no, air! Give me air! Oh no! No! Crazy. Ooh, sand. Ah. Stupid starfish. Oh, a life. <laughs> I expired. Um, yeah, let's start again from here. Okay, I just have to keep up with him. <clears throat> so I was looking up those actors, um, they're mostly known for other Australian kids TV shows, cartoons and stuff, but you might know, damn it, I lost him again at this point, where could he have gone, he might have just gone around again, okay, did I save, I didn't even save, ah, annoying, um, let's drown ourselves again. Yeah, so the only one that I noticed had been anything more famous was Keith Scott, who was the narrator of George of the Jungle. And George of the Jungle too, but you probably don't know that as well. And yeah, I remember one or two good jokes to do with the narrator in George of the Jungle, so there you go. Ah. 
No. Okay, so he must have gone this way and then down this way. Is this the start again? Dexter, this is different. This is a different path. I'm sure of it. Or oh, maybe not. I gotta go back. I gotta follow this guy more closely. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, no, this way. Aha! You won't get away from me. Save. Ow. Whoops. No, 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 no. Dexter. Yes. Ah! Ah! Can't sonar or anything. Don't have that function. Uh, have I lost him? No, there he is. Come on, you rotter. Alahoa Krakatoa is apparently Flipper's catchphrase that he said at the end of episode one. I may have got the first word wrong because I don't speak Hawaiian. Don't tell me he was just waiting at the end of this corridor. Oh, I expired. Wait, I wasn't even out of oxygen. How did that happen? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to beat him to the end. And because he beat me, I die. Maybe? I don't know. Come on, come on, come on. Faster. I find I'm thinking of flip ass echo just because this is so echo. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. I lost all my health, but I made it. Um, I don't know anything about the new George of the Jungle show. Tony, what do you think about it? Holy hell! That's spooky. Um, ah! Okay. All right, let's start that again with three. Oh, ah, nope. Okay. Took some damage. Interesting. Okay, all right. I can do that. Wait for it to spit, avoid it, and then hit it. Again, I'm suffering my lack of knowledge of the show here. I wonder if this squid... Oh, no, 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 I hadn't saved. I'm so bad at this game. Maybe I need to do that rewind function. I know there's a way. Rewind. Let's use that one. Nope. That one? Ah, it's not letting me change the controls. Damn. Alright. I'll have to do it the stupid way. These airless cabins. Ah, man. Yeah, that kraken, huh? Spooky. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious that Planet Interactive Development, the Canadian creators of the Flipper and Lopaka game for Game Boy Color, as well as who ported Mr. Nuts to Game Boy Color, were fans of Echo the Dolphin. And who can blame him? So Dexter gets here and then he just drops the crystal? What's up with that? Alright, now I'm saving state. Thank you. 
<laughs> Tony's asking if this squid would connect Flipper and Lopaka to the shared universe of Mr. Nuts. I... it's... Uh, it's, it's different. <laughs> this is a squid, that was an octopus, it had a different shaped head, you know. We can do this. Yes. Okay, one more hit. And I, I can only move up and down here. It's like a it's like a scrolling shooter without the scrolling. Or the shooting. Hmm. Volcano. That was like a dangerous plant. Scorpion. Ow. No 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 no. Okay, so Lopaka's levels are pretty open and amazing. Lopaka's levels are a little more straightforward, perhaps. That is a cute little environmental effect there. It's quite nice. And yeah, it's a good way to have, you know, um, land and water levels and flipping between the two. It's a pretty cool idea for a game. I like that background. Really though, Lopaka should just be just as home under the water as Flipper is. Well, maybe not just as much, but he can like totally go underwater for ages and stuff. Don't even need him. Whoops. Oh, fire. I have learned that most basic of lessons. Fire bad. You know, I almost have 100 pearls. I wonder what happens when we have that many. That's different. That's a different pond. 99. 100. What? Uh. Hmm. There's really only two buttons. Um, select does nothing. What are the pearls? Do, are they just points? Then why keep track of them in a number counter there? That's really disappointing. <laughs> I guess the only good thing they are for is like for the level designers to lead you around. Like when I was jumping into those arcs of them in the jungle. Or possibly for you to track where you've been by collecting them, so they're not there. But really, that's super lame. Mm. Okay, there's a door down there. Another one here. They're everywhere. This is crazy. Maybe I just have to keep going up. Stupid giant mosquitoes. Yes. Take that. So yeah, um, Flipper and Lopaka. Australian production, but it was apparently uh, screened in different countries. The Dutch subtitles would suggest that it was shown in uh, the Netherlands. Possibly other European countries. I think you may have noticed when I started this game that there were a whole bunch of languages selectable. Quite a few. So this is obviously the European version of the game that I'm playing. I don't know if it was actually released anywhere else. Um, or well, possibly everywhere in the world got the same version. Um, although from the ROM side I got this from. I mean from the uh, legitimate business side I got this from. That I'm playing on an actual console. 
Uh, they only had a European version. Uh oh. I see. So the place I was is way up above everything else. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the show and the game are unheard of in America. Although they did have Blinky Bill, and that surprised me. Flipper was presumably an American movie. I don't really know. I just know Skippy. You betray a pearl's worth nothing. You only gave me 10 points to lame. Oh. Okay, so I've got a lot of pickups up here. Aha! Good. Um. Given you said you saw like some level passwords for this game, can you tell me how many levels there are in total? Oh, I got a bonus. <gasps> Maybe that's what having the pearls does. See, this is obviously Quetzo. You can see all the sunken ruins. Very Atlantis-like. Or yeah, there's there's, a, there's other equivalents of uh, Atlantis-like sunken cities in um, other cultures. It's just a sort of race to find pearls before I run out of air. Extra line, I'll take that. Oh, did I actually explain about Quetzo? Um, yeah, I think this is just get as far as you can and get some extra lives, possibly. Big prawn. Okay, that's very echo. Having a big lobster thing that chases you. Okay, that one's not chasing me. Yeah. 16 levels, okay. Yes, so this is level 6. Think we can make it? Yeah, we'll try. Um, yeah, so Quetzo. Uh, it's where all the fish in, and sea creatures in the series live. Ooh, I like that background whale. Yeah, in the beam of light there. Um, yeah, it's a sunken human city, like, with uh, ruins and, you know, it's... It's not Atlantis-like because it doesn't look Greek, it looks more sort of... I don't know, I shouldn't say. So it would display my ignorance, but... Nope. If I had to you know, nominate one culture that it resembled, I'd say kind of Aztec-ish. But, um... Yeah, it's a... Lepaka knows the stories of Quetzo and how... In the olden days, it was a human city that, thanks to an earthquake, sunk below the sea. Oh, give me that. There's currents here that um, carry me faster than usual. <clears throat> so presumably Flipper is holding this crystal in his mouth. He, he does um, pick up a shell in the first episode and try and cut the net, the fishing net. His flippers are not, um, his fins, they're not dexterous enough to grip things, I expect. I haven't found that pedestal. Although he does use them to gesture while talking. Yes, Gibbon has seen information on a Flipper and Lopaka PC game. I think there's a subtitle for that. Aha! Excellent. Done. Uh, yeah, I saw a few screenshots of that. Um, um, I don't know what it is exactly. Maybe like a mini game collection or something. But yeah, there was a Flipper and Lopaka license game on the computer as well. It's not the same as this. 
setting of this game. It's cool. So I lost all my pearls. Um, I guess, yeah, getting up to 99 maybe takes you to a bonus level when you complete the level. That is my assumption. That was cool. The upper part. A hedgehog? An echidna? Or Polynesian. Presumably, this is the upper story of the same building. Could be anything here. Yes, health. Thank you. Oh, I figured out how to fly. I like this. Ow, it hurt me. No fair. Ah, get away. Ah! Joke. Alright. Avoid that. Okay. Oh, that was easy. Short. <laughs> yes, given saying he's surprised that this didn't get released as a sort of tropical island jungle book sequel. Now that you mention it, Lepaka, very similar to Mowgli. You have identified that, and you're correct. Um, and it wouldn't be unusual for a game to be released in a different um, region, slightly changed. But without the license, I don't, I don't know if they would have done it. Usually with things like that, they change stuff in-game to make it um, into another license. Or but yeah, like you said, they probably wouldn't have had to change much, but it would have had to be a new plot. There is no actual, like, tropical island-based Jungle Book sequel, so it would have to be completely invented. Um, nope. Current. There's no visible indication of a current. Which, you know, you can't blame them for on a Game Boy Color, but... Oh, no! Drop the crystal. No! It's gonna fall over here. Spikes. Where'd it go? Ah, you damn eel. There it is. Oh, I got killed. Crystal. Gimme. shock. Health. Yes. Okay. Oh. There's some kind of shell blocking my way. A clam or something. Um. Yes, Tony, this is a safe space. You can admit that you didn't like Jungle Book the remake. I myself do not care for these live-action remakes. Um, my wife and her sister recently went to see Beauty and the Beast and I skipped it. I did not go. Don't care. Uh, you can't use the dash attack while you're carrying the crystal or else you drop it. So I haven't actually seen any of these live-action remakes, but I just assume they're all terrible and that helps me sleep at night. Yes. Knowing that I haven't seen a Disney movie. Is this a loop? No, it's not. This current makes it hard, though. I'm gonna assume that the altar isn't at the end, but like somewhere in the middle, possibly. Uh, this might be where I came in. Yeah, okay, that seems reasonable. Need more air though. No air, gimme. What's that? Oh, do I have to take this pearl to the clam? Oh, that's really tedious. 
Luckily the air might be respawning. Oh, that's tough. Go back to where I had more health. Hmm, okay. Ow. Oh, okay, I'll drop the crystal here, and then I'll come back for it. Yeah, clever. Assuming the game's gonna keep track of its position. This actually reminds me more of Echo Jr. than anything else. Although it's a bit more dangerous. You didn't have a health or air meter in Echo Jr. <laughs> ah. Alright, so down when I can. Yep, down here. Oh. Yeah, excellent. Okay. Get some air. Ow. Jerk. Oh, two pearls? No way. Don't tell me I gotta backtrack all this. Darn it. Alright. Save here, go back over here. Ah, ah, current. Okay, so it's over here. Then this way, right? Yeah, this was it. Maybe it's just two different pearls that you could potentially take. Let's hope that's the case. Damn it! Screw you, starfish. Yeah! Gameplay. Air. Damn it. Yep. That was it. There's two. There's two. Go back. Ah. No, I'll keep going. That's fine. So second opening, that's one, Oop. wait, uh, this one, yeah, okay, I need some air, oh. tense, okay, good, now there's other openings down there, there might even be a third clan, Ugh. okay. Yeah, no, no, yes. Okay, okay. Ah. Mm, yeah. Mm. No. <laughs> ah. <sighs> okay. We can do better. We'll do better this time. Easy. No worries, mate. <clears throat> um, let's see. Yeah, I think I've run through all my notes, so... Let's talk about... The Jungle Book? Okay, there's more air in there. Because that's about a kid who is taught how to speak to animals by some animals. Okay, so there's no third clan, that's a good thing. Ah, no third pearl, anyway. So if we just go and actually pick up a pearl this time, should be okay. I did like the Jungle Book as a kid. It's a, it's a classic. It felt kind of retro at the time, even at the time I was watching it. I might be projecting backwards there a little, but... Definitely remember, because I was in the Cub Scouts, um, and... Ah, no! Why did you drop it, Flipper? So the cubs, um, the leaders of, you know, the adults in your cub scout troop pack, whatever it's called, 
Um, they all take their names from the Jungle Book. I don't know if that's the same in other places, but... Yeah, like, you don't call the adults by their names. They have these, like, titles, which are the names of characters from the Jungle Book. So we had a Baloo, a Bagheera, a, um... Uh, who else did we have? Uh, what's the... What's the name of the water buffalo? Um, is it Rama? No, yes. Thing is, some of them also became scout leaders after and we started calling them by their real names as well as other names. There were too many names, I'm telling you. Ah, no. No air, no health. Oh yeah, it's the same. Um, oh yeah, Akela. Yeah, Akela. Um, that was my friend's mom. <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot the buffalo too, because it's not in the Disney version, <laughs> you know? But I've seen, I've seen pictures of it. It's obviously in the book, I guess. I always miss that air. I think we need to stop at that other cabin on the way. Ow, Spikos. Bugger off. This is uh, tense, man. It's tough. It's almost echo worthy, this difficulty. Let's get down here. Give me the air. Yeah. Oh no, there is a third one! Curse it all! The tedium continues. Ah! No! Yep, there's a the third clan. Any more health for me? Nope. Okay. Whew. Speed it up. Speed running. Oh, these are not pro strats. I hope that air respawns. Ah! I just lost health from lack of air. Die in here, come on. Oops, wrong one. No. Cutting it real fine here. Real fine. No, 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 no. Okay. <sighs> now this is a game that needs an infinite air cheat. Here and take this one. Okay, yes. Nope. Oh, that's helpful. Ow! Lost it straight away. Thanks a lot. No, there's no more air in there for me. Let's go. Let's go. Took all the air here. This is terrible. That pedestal is taunting me. <sighs> okay. Yeah, this, it's a bit much having three in a row and only carrying one thing at a time. It's the definition of tedious backtracking. Okay, we're gonna get up here, we're gonna grab this. No! I was in invincibility frames from taking damage from lack of air, so I wasn't able to pick up that air because you can't pick up stuff while you're flashing. It seems unfair. Alright, plenty of air now, that's good. Let's speed through this. Nope. This one. 
the end. Okay, avoid the shark, get the thing, don't drop it again. Leave, 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 no! Ah! Okay, we can do this because we believe in ourselves. I don't know why I keep saying we, because it's really just me. But I have the support of my loyal viewers. Damn it. You know, I was looking on YouTube for playthroughs of this game and I... Well, I, I wouldn't say I looked exhaustively, but I saw one that was titled Let's Play a Bad Game. And you know, that's fine. People... Ah! Play and make fun of a bad game, that's cool. But is this really a bad game? I don't think so. I think it's fine. I say... Licensed platformer. Keep in mind the studio hadn't made many games before. Now there's another health for me over here, I think. Nope. And I think I just mostly really appreciate that they basically made an unofficial Echo game within this game. I think that's super cool. Damn it! <laughs> Let's get that extra air in here and then... Ah, current make me catch on the corner. Nah, speed's not that. Let's go. I wonder if there's more opportunities for air elsewhere in this tunnel. Ah. You have to press B to pick up an object. There was an air bubble there, I saw it. What happened to it? This sucks. Alright. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Gibbon watched that video and they didn't make it out of the first level. Well, some people are quitters and some people are squitters, what can I say? And I think if nothing else, I am that dope ass spider with the sneakers from DKC2. Although I think the Facebook page is actually called that cool ass spider with the sneakers from Donkey Kong Country 2. Ah! Freaking spikes! No! I was so close. Okay, this time for sure. Because not having the patience or ability to make it out of the first level does not make it a bad game. Damn it! No. Flipper, you test me. You test me. Ah! So yeah, we're not here to laugh at this game. We're here to celebrate it. Um, celebrate Australian animation, Polynesian culture, Echo the Dolphin, health! And good health, yes. And Pride Month. And what else are we celebrating? Um, damn it, I do that every time. <clears throat> We're celebrating uh, other cultures and folk tales and talking animals. And good old licensed games on the Game Boy Color because I love that crap, man. What else are we celebrating? Give me some happy things to be happy about. I need it. Damn it! Spikes. Air breathers. Dexter says he doesn't trust Flipper because he's an air breather just like the humans. 
but then they, they also associate with like sea turtles and I mean sea snakes, they're, they're air breathers. Any reptile or mammal. Ah, no. Okay, I think I need to get that air on the way out of here. And the, the air situation is becoming desperate. Oh, I thought I was avoiding the spike, but I just avoided the air. Down. Up. Good. No, bad. Ah, speed. Lost. Go, 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 go. Gotta make this, gotta make this. Go, 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 go. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, oh, no! When I start getting hurt, I drop the damn thing. The ball, whatever it is. I called it a pearl earlier, but if it was, then I should be able to carry these other pearls. I mean, drop my 71 pearls into this clam. <sighs> this is frigging painful. Take back everything I said about Flipper and Lipark for the GBC. Just kidding, it's fine. <clears throat> There's gotta be a way. There's gotta be something. Something I can do. I can't be stuck here. Down. Yeah. Oops, that's bad. He's bringing up the, another licensed game, Treehouse of Horror for the Game Boy Color. I do not know that. We need speed. Okay. okay. Can I backtrack a little for air, possibly? I'll grab the Oh, in a minute. Yeah. So there was some yeah. air. Any more? Can I surface maybe? What's up from here? Ah, jellyfish. Ah, oh, surface. Thank the maker. All right. Save there. We can do this in air now. Easy pants. Easy pants. The pocket doesn't even wear pants. He has one of them little skirts. He's an islander. Flipper doesn't wear pants. Flipper don't need pants. He's a dolphin. Yes. Whew. I feel better. Ooh. I don't know. I really want to like finish the game but maybe that's not a good idea yeah I ought to stop yeah let's die there get our health back three at least no oxygen in the boss battles which is good yeah in the belly okay I can do it again okay I'll lock you in a pattern it's fine with me Okay, that didn't work. Okay, lure him up. I don't know the names of the individual sharks. But, I, I, I don't know, there's kind of two big ones and one skinny one. <laughs> and they're all kind of stupid. Yeah, that took ages. I'm sorry about that. I am apologizing for the quality of Flipper and my Parker. Agility! Nope. Ah, Look at Flipper's cute little face though, come on. Can't stay mad at him. So is this the same flipper? That's my question. From like the 60s movies. Because I don't know, that seems implausible. As far as I know, they're in different locations and like 
Flippa seems kind of young-ish in these new show. Maybe Flipper is just a common name among dolphins. Alright, cave of the Aloka. Uh, crouching. Um, head cannon, new head cannon, Flipper's father is the original Flipper. And, you know, this one in the show is his son. Oh, is that a door? That looked a bit like a door. Yes. No. <laughs> it was health, but it wasn't progression. Frog. I like how all the enemies are just sort of normal animals going about their business. Hey, no. games are people playing at the moment? I've been playing Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3, also known as Sparking Meteor, or Meteor, <clears throat> on the Wii. It's quite entertaining. At first I thought the control screen was way too convoluted and complicated for me to like get a handle on, but it turns out basically every character has the same like button combinations for their special moves and stuff. So once I got the hang of it, I'm, I don't, I'm never going to be able to do all the advanced techniques and stuff, but um, on easy difficulty, I've been making it through story mode pretty well. So that's where my level of skill is at. And it's really crazy because it covers tons of stuff. It's got like s scenarios in the story mode for basically every movie. Um, and there's like a billion playable characters, which is quite kind of cool. Entrance to the boat. Yes, yes, Tony insists that it's called Sparking Meteor. I guess he's a total weeb in that respect, insisting on the original Japanese everything, which is totally fine, completely valid. Um, one of my favorite websites at the moment is Kanzenshu. Uh, I'm sort of working through their entire podcast back catalog of 10 years, listening to their podcast about Dragon Ball stuff. <gasps> that is totally a glyph. That is straight up an echo glyph. I don't know if that was in the Flipper and Lepaka show, but that is an echo the dolphin glyph. Cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but anyway, the Kanzenshu folk are total, um, uh, like, dub haters. They will insist on things being referred to in the original Japanese, etc. Which is cool, I guess. You know, obviously I grew up on the dub, so... I've got a lot of dubisms in my brain, but um, I appreciate their fandom and their, uh, what you call it, um, their, I don't know, they're very conscientious. <clears throat> Thorough. Um, <laughs> Tony's complaining about the menu at the Guardians of the Galaxy restaurant. Cool. I shouldn't have to deal with that in Tokyo Disney. What is with these glyphs? They're everywhere. I must be able to break them somehow. Gibbon says he's been playing various Switch games. Not 
one in particular? What's your uh, favorite one? Oh, getting a bit late. Mm, good point. People have bedtimes. People who aren't me because it's 3.30 in the afternoon. Small glyphs over there. Man, this is crazy. Gotta be able to do something. Maybe... I'm really... I don't know, I'm conflicted here. Whether to call it now, finish up. I don't think it's possible to just keep going. Oh no. Pearls to carry. This level's gonna be just as convoluted, isn't it? That's not gonna be any fun to watch. Alright, let's end the stream here. I think we appreciated this game enough. Um, and we won't do another week of it next week. Um, I might finish the game on my own time. My only regret is that I don't think there's a complete playthrough of this anywhere. Maybe I'll record my playthrough and not stream it? I don't know, this is weird. I've never thought about these things before. But I like this game, man. Um, Hmm. I am actually having fun with this game. It's a dilemma. I mean, I, this is the thing. Traditionally, my stream has been, you know, one game a week, and the only times I've broken out of Bubsy 2 and Mr. Nuts. Because I, I, I really wanted to do the whole thing of those games. Um, I'm not sure that's completely warranted in this case, but also it's like, is my stream going to become a place where I am more focused on completing games by doing them multiple times to get through them, or more keeping it fresh, new thing every week kind of thing. And it's always been the former, but maybe it could be the latter, and I can change that with my powers of um, uh, free will. Um, yeah, okay. Um, we'll start again from this level next week. That's my pledge to you, and I might change my mind later. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah. Yes. Given same. Just been playing Blaster Master Zero, but being bad at it, getting burnt out on Zelda. Playing Binding of Isaac, Mario Kart, Puyo Puyo. Man, too many games, am I right? Um, yeah. That's cool. And yeah, Tony, nice things to say about Kanzenshu. And the double and Kai and Super, which is cool. But anyway. Um, yep, okay, so that's what I'm doing. We'll be back later for more of this game because I like it and you're gonna have to put up with it. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Um, yeah, bye. Wait. Need to hit the button. Okay, see ya.